Yeah, this is a boy for near the beach. Okay, this machine you are seeing is called forklift. It is an industrial device or machine used for conveying of loads or material from places to places or loading or offloading of materials. It is very simple for those who want to learn about it. But our main thing here, our main uh, job here is to teach people or train people about the functions of this machine. There are numerous functions of this machine you are seeing now, okay? And before I start, I would like to tell you that there are three major parts of forklifts which you need to know. Three major parts of forklifts which you need to know. And each of the parts comprises of different components. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Each of the parts of this machine comprises of different components. So we're going to start with the number one part. Then the number one part is the chassis. Number one is the chassis. Number two is the mast. Number two is the mast. If you have your pen there, be listing them down for your own good. Then the number three is the overhead guard. Those are the three major parts of forklift which you need to know. Like I said before, number one, number one is the chassis. Number two is the mast. The number three is the overhead guard. And each of these parts has has components. They have different components. Okay. Each of the parts has different components and we're going to be breaking them down one by one. So today, let's talk about the chases. Let's talk about the chases today. In our next uh, lesson, we'll be talking about the remaining two, okay? But if this is your first time of coming to my training show, please do me well to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe to my channel, please. This is very, very good if you have this knowledge. And I would, I, would, I would like to tell you that after you receive this message from me today, make sure you look for a place where you can run the practical of this. But I believe that with the training that I'm going to give you today, you will learn at least 70% everything about this machine. Then the remaining one, you go and run the practice. It is as simple as that. So let's continue with the, with the first part.